Hello, I'm Corey Midell, training officer of Gideon Rescue Company, a faith-based international responding organization to disasters. And what we like about the creature craft is that it's just plain capable. We can go to ocean surf with it and it'll do rescues there very capably. Uh, you won't get uh, flipped in the surf. You can get hit by the waves and it's not the end of the world. It'll ride itself if need be. Usually it doesn't even tip over. And we can go to really big white water and we can uprun rivers with big white water. Uh, if we're not running motors, we can run down the river without motors. We can do inland floods. So we can do high water evacuations. We can do flooded urban areas. And we just appreciate how the creature craft is able to function there. You just plan to have higher safety margins. So what we mean is we can take someone with a medium level of training and expose them to higher levels of risk with higher levels of risk mitigation. So that means someone with medium training, we can put in class four, even five water with this boat and they're gonna be able to function and they're gonna be able to come home safe at the end of the day because the boat just does a plain great job of keeping our rescue technicians safe and protected from the environments that they're in. The customer service aspect, um, Darren and Christy Vansel have just gone above and beyond when it comes to working with us, with our, our boats. Uh, we have multiple boats sourced from them and just from, from beginning to end, before the purchase and through the purchase and afterwards we've received advice, training, help setting up the boats, help, you know, setting up the boats for specific things, uh, for different environments with motors, without motors, different seating positions. Um, they've always been there to help us understand how to get what we want out of our boats. We were able to stuff our boat inside a pretty small plane, like a 10 passenger Pilatus, fly it to the Bahamas immediately after Hurricane Dorian and be able to have that boat function there as a support rescue platform where it would be harder to you know stuff any other kind of boat with an engine and all of its accessories and gas tanks inside uh, other type of transportation so the portability and lightweight of the creature craft has definitely been an asset for because us the creature craft is just very lightweight and portable we were able to roll it up into a ball, pack it with its motor, its gas tanks, and respond immediately to Abaco Island in the Bahamas immediately after Hurricane Dorian. So its portability was really an asset to us to be able to get there fast. Now also we did respond with it in Hurricane Harvey uh, in Texas. We were able to do high water evacuations with it at night and I probably would not have felt comfortable doing night ops and moving water uh, with another type of vessel, but because the creature craft, it just doesn't wrap around rocks and objects and trees and, and moving water like other vessels do, we have that higher level of risk mitigation with the creature craft than we would say with a conventional uh, whitewater raft or with a John boat where if you mess something up and you stuff it under the trees and current you're probably going to be okay <laughs> it may challenge your mission but you're going to get through it all right and everyone's going to live um, that might not end as well with another type of rescue platform so in short we really love using our creature crafts uh, we found them to be an asset we found them to be very adaptable run it with without motors run it in ocean surf run it in high water flood situations, run it in white water. Uh, it just, it's one platform that works awesome in all kinds of situations. So we love our creature crafts.